Okay, let's work on figure 4-54G. Um, so this is 126-4-54G. Uh, notice here that it, there is a bolt bolt circle there for us, or a circle for us to put these on. Um, we'll go ahead and use that uh, as we go forward. So that diameter of that is uh, 4.5. The inside circle is two, a diameter 2.25. There are three circles out here um, that they have the diameter of 0.56 and then there are fillets on the outside there that are a radius of 0 0.62 3.88 between the centers there and then from the center point here down to this one is 1.12 notice that these are on a 30 degree angle up there all right so let's go ahead we'll start AutoCAD go ahead and click new and we'll see how this one works out. So we'll start with the center uh, and the, uh, the center hole going through there. The diameter is 2.25. And then the next one that we have to worry about, we'll worry about that bolt circle next. It's 4.5 um, right there. And the reason we'll do that is because we want to start with that circle at the top. Shift right click and we'll go on the quadrant point and we'll put that one. Whoops, shift right click, quadrant point. Shift right click quadrant point. Sometimes it works a little, must have hit something wrong. Um, the diameter is 0.56 on that. All right. Um, something doesn't look right there. So let me delete that. I'm going to do this again. I'm going to say circle. Shift right click is my center point. Quadrant point right there. The diameter is 0.56. That looks much better. All right, so then um, what we can do after that is we're going to worry about the, the radius on the outside there. So I'm going to do a center uh, radius circle there with the radius of 0.62. All right, so that's a little bit bigger. So um, let's see. We'll try to do a, an array with a polar array there. Uh, select these two objects. Right-click and make that your center point, and we'll change this to 3. And... Uh, and then click, oops, click the exit out of that. So that should work out pretty good for us there. Um, we'll go ahead and click line. We're going to do shift right click and we're going to go from the tangent where when you click on tangent, notice that that always kind of touches the outside of that circle there. So we'll go shift right click from that tangent to this tangent over here. Do the same thing up here. We're going to click on line, uh, click line right here. Shift right click tangent to the shift right click tangent there and you can do the same thing down here shift right click tangent to the shift right click tangent it would also work if you went from quadrant to quadrant on that part right there um, let's see we'll go ahead and click on trim and I'm gonna go and use these as cutting edges here partly because I want to keep that bolt circle there for now Oh, I got I forgot. I've got to explode those first before I can do that. So now we'll go trim and select these. And we'll get rid of that part there. All right. Okay, so um, that's it on that one. Double click the mouse wheel. Zoom the extents. Uh, if you wanted to get rid of that, you could. You don't have to. Um, I, I just You might as well just leave it there because you, you would use it later on. We'd change it to a, a center line. Um, so we go ahead and save this, um, and we'll save it as 126-4-54G, and um, once we do that, we'll go ahead and print it, um, PDF, display, extents, center, preview, looks good, right click and plot, and then you save that one there too. Alright, um, and that's exactly what it should look like.